Hi, let's learn how to run ANOVA in SPSS. ANOVA is analysis of variance. It is a statistical technique which is used to examine if means of three or more groups significantly differ from each other or not. For example, if you have three groups of employees and you are interested to find out whether these groups differ on average productivity of their employees, their members. If this is the case, then you will use ANOVA. Let me give you another example. If there are four business schools in your city and their graduates are employed in different organizations and you are interested to find out whether average starting salary differs statistically across the groups or not, then in this case also you will use ANOVA. So two, two key points you have to keep in mind. Number one, ANOVA examines differences between three or more means. In other words, number of groups to be compared must exceed two. If you are going to examine differences between two means only, so then ANOVA is not the right option, then better you conduct t-test. Second point to be kept in mind is a variable on which the groups are to be compared should be continuous in nature. Now coming to how to conduct ANOVA, I would propose five steps. Number one, compare means check the option of ANOVA. Then, examine the F statistics and significant values. If the P value is less than 0 0.05 or even equal to 0 0.05, that means statistical significant difference exists among the groups. Then examine eta squared value. Eta squared is a measure of effect size. You can interpret it exactly in the same way you interpret R square in regression analysis. If its value ranges from 0 0.01 to 0 0.06 or even less, so then effect size is small. If it ranges from 0 0.07 to 0 0.14, then effect size is medium. And if it exceeds 0 0.14, then effect size is large. Then you run post hoc test. Post hoc mean after that. There is a specific meaning behind it. Post hoc test is relevant only if ANOVA is statistically significant. Means if ANOVA has reported non significant results, then there is no point in running post hoc test. And finally, compare the groups in pairs. So let's run in SPSS. So here is the SPSS. So we, our variable on which we have to compare the groups is the salary. The groups are the provinces. So we have five groups. So let's run. Analyze, then compare means, and then means. And uh, salary to be placed here because that's a dependent variable. Province is to be put here in the independent list. Go to the options and check the option of ANOVA table and ETA also. Continue.
So here are the results. Table 1 shows summary. Table 2 shows mean values and standard deviations. And also value of n, number of cases included in each group. So you see here, so the highest mean value is in case of GB. And second highest is Sindh, and then it is Punjab, then it is Pakistan, then it is GB. Next table is Innova table. Here you see significance value is 0 0.016. So that's less than 0 0.05. That means it is statistically significant. That means the provinces statistically differ among each other on mean values of, its, of the salaries of their employees. Coming to the eta, here this table shows the value of the eta squared. It is 0.115. That means it is moderate level. So you see here it's 0.115 that lies here in the medium of it. Since ANOVA is showing p value less than 0.05. So, provinces significantly differ among each other. So, we need to examine the differences among the groups. Means we can run post op test. How to do it? How to analyze and compare means and one way ANOVA and one way ANOVA uh, put salary here in the dependent list and uh, in factor put the grouping variable here. And coming to the post hoc option here, check the option on the Tucky, Tucky HSP test. Continue. So here you see, so again you, um, uh, you see the uh, statistics of ANOVA, so it's uh, again showing the same result, it's statistically significant. Now coming to HST test results. First one, the GP. So GP is being compared with rest of four other provinces. So you see here, these this column is showing significant values. So we are interested in only those values which are less than 0 0.05. So here we find that in the first case of comparison, so GP and KP, it is the only case where significance value falls less than 0.05. So that means GP and KP statistically differ with each other on average average. Coming to the KP with the rest of four ones. So again, it's showing the same result. Punjab, so no statistical significant difference. Pakistan. No statistically significant difference. Synth, no difference. So this is a way how we conduct post-op test and ANOVA. Thanks for watching.